In 2001, South Louisiana, tired of only bracket racing for trophies against domestics, I risked every penny I had to create an event where imports faced off with imports. It's now the largest touring import series in the nation. From the streets where reputations are made, to the strip where champions are crowned, Import Faceoff draws in racers from coast to coast, city after city, where hundreds of drivers put it all on the line for bragging rights and thousands in cash payouts. Grudge matches, call outs, Look out. show me the 10 grand right now. Rivalry, Fuck my <laughs> sacrifices, <laughs> and heartache. on the Import Faceoff National Drag Racing Circuit. Today we're in Southern California and we're kicking off the first of over 40 Import Faceoff drag racing events nationwide. My name is Greg Christensen out of Forest Hill, California. I drive a 1997 Acura Integra. My engine is a 2.0 GSR. Makes roughly around 1,300, 1,400 horsepower. It has a 72 inch precision turbo. I have roughly four times as much horsepower because of the turbocharger. And currently, I'm the fastest on the top 10 list in California for sport front wheel drive. My name is Alex Soto. I'm from Riverside, California. I own a 2015 Lamborghini Huracan. I'm involved in racing. I don't participate too much as a driver. I'm a crew chief of a couple race teams and we win every event I participate in. Our, our crew uh, has a world record for all drive cars, so. Right now I'm working with Greg of Sinister Racing. I work with Alex with Sheepy Racing because when you're the best, you gotta work with the best. My name is Jason Park and I'm the owner and creator of FCS Race and we are based out of Santa Clarita, California. This is our 2001 Acura Integra RS. It is a two liter B series turbo that runs approximately 1400 horsepower. Wait, so what's happening? What's happening yeah, is what's, uh, what's, what's they're trying on? to make a qualifying bitch out pass when they're supposed to race us Q1. Yeah, you're supposed to, it locked in. I, I shook out on those. Q1, Q1 locked in. If you guys know, you guys pay me the punk out money. Punk out money is a thousand bucks. Suck my I'm gonna do it this way. So there's always been a bit of a rivalry between Greg's car and Jason's car. Both are Integras. Same size turbos, exact same size tire, and the same class car. He's from NorCal, I'm from SoCal, and that rivalry has always been there from the beginning. I call out Jason Parks, hopefully he brings his money so I can collect, because we all did it once, I beat him, did it pay up. <laughs> Greg is full of shit, he's always talking about I owe him 20 grand or whatever. Even though our car is built better and is faster than Greg's, we have a two-time NHRA world champ. We'll take your call out and your money. Scott Murillo, I drive a 2013 GTR, 1400 horsepower. We're built by a SP engineer. Sky and Izzy have known each other for a while, so every time they're at an IFO event, one of them always calls the other out. 2300 bucks against another 2300 bucks. All right, here it is, the red GTR T1 on the wing. They're racing test and tune class. This is open to any make and model. Now Sky usually runs a Subaru hatchback. This is his first time at IFO with the GTR, so he's got a lot to prove. All righty, this Z06 ain't your average Z06. It, they threw that old GM blower in the trash and picked up the Pro Charger. We've got Sky in the left. We've got Izzy in the right. Both of these cars do over 150 miles an hour in the quarter. This is gonna be one close drag race. $4,600 right here. We're all in, here we go! And the Corvette's out like a fat kid in dodgeball! Can the GTR chase him down? Yes, sir! Yes, sir! The GTR took that shit! Yeah! 
Now that's what you call pedal to the metal, no bullshit action. The full 1320, out the back door. We got a whole bunch of money. Next time, I race busy. Make sure my car's tuned and uh, don't sleep on the light. My name is Driver B and I'm from Redlands, California and I drive a 92 Honda Civic. It's a front wheel drive, makes 950 horsepower on turbo only. With nitrous, it's gonna be over 1,000 horsepower. I race a lot of people that I know and a lot of people that I don't know. But when I race, I make sure I don't lose. I import face off, I will call up Alex with his Lambo I want my rematch. I know he's fast, but I still, you know, I like to gamble, that's what I do. Driver B has a way of making his cars sound faster than what they are. You know, he has a lot of stickers, so he thinks stickers make him fast, like the movies, you know. But he's been beat by all our cars many times, and we'll be continue to get beat. Next race, I'm going to call it Greg with his Integra. Last race, his back window flew off and broke my front end, so I had to let off. I left out on first, and I was halfway down the track. I didn't even see him leave. If he wasn't so slow, it would have never hit him. And I gave that to him, but heads up, he has no chance. Next is Ali Afshar. I never raced a Ferrari before, but I'm looking forward to beat it. My name is Ali Afshar. I'm from Petaluma, California. Today, I am racing my brand new 2018 48 GTB Ferrari. I am not worried about driver B beating me in a race, because the one thing he can do better than the street race is talk shit, and he talks a lot of it. <laughs> During eliminations, drivers know their cars should race in a certain class, but sometimes we get them trying to pull a fast one over on us. This guy says he's within the rules. He's trying to blow smoke up my ass and tell me I'm breaking wind. I call bullshit. That's an American V8 in an import car. It's in the rule book. I mean, if you would have read the rule book before you came, you would know this. And, and you earlier, you were lined up in the Chesterton lanes when I was walking yeah. through. Changed me to outlaw. No, they didn't change you. You asked to be changed. You didn't check yeah. it with us. Yeah, I did. did. Who? Who not fair? Fair. What did you tell me? In drag racing, a lot of people have broken a lot of the rules with being underweight, running bigger turbos or adders that they're not supposed to for the class that then ruins the sport because the guys that do build competitive cars for the class then get discouraged to continue going. His car belongs in test and tune, which is non-competition racing. Yes, he's got an import body, but he has a domestic motor, and that goes against the ruling for any import drag racing event. Back to test and tune, if you want to grudge race one of these guys afterwards, yeah. Come talk to us, we can set it up whatever you want. But you okay. can't compete in the official import based off drag racing class, all right? Okay. Dude, everybody knows this. Come on now. Yeah, it's boosted LS. <laughs> like Driver B. I've known him for a long time. He loves his family. He loves drag racing. But he's got to be the biggest shit talker on the whole import face-off circuit. And it's got him into trouble a few times. Yeah, I got into fights and I got arrested a bunch of times. It's just part of the game. If you don't shit talk, the game is not excited, you know? So it's gotta be there. At the last event, I actually had to call the cops because somebody punched him in the face. So it's no surprise that he's getting protested today. Protest! We're all going to get together and we're going to vote to see if it's allowed or not. I know, it's bullshit, bro. You got front overhang? It's 45 inch from axle nut to the front. You're going to get there four inches quicker than everybody else. <laughs> year after year, drivers come and go. But some, like driver B, are always there. It's too long. Where's your car at? I don't have one. Just shut up. I love racing. For a lot of people, is the hobby they talk about. For me, that's what I do. 
Now I'm gonna f***ing race today. Driver B is in a predicament. He put the fin on the front of his car to help him get across the finish line just inches from another car. But another driver is protesting. So if he can't find the official track ruling showing that his fin is legal, the track tech will make him take it off or won't let him compete. Driver B is the definition of crazy. He even calls himself Driver B. Who does that? Now, he may be nuts, but he knows his shit. I got it right here. 45 inches, I'm 44.7. Anybody, right? like, right? Anybody can make shit up on Google. Right here, 45 inches from OEM Axel. I'm 44.7. I can't see that. Oh, anyone could, you could have wrote that at your house. No, you going, right? and over. When you do the IFO circuit, you get to know a lot of drivers. And the one thing we love to do is give each other shit. I knew they were gonna do that. I know they're gonna protest against my car, but hey, I come prepared. Yeah, I come prepared. Today, we have a puppet. I'm not a real puppet, but if you've seen Jackass 3D, then you've seen him. And he's got an interesting way of entertaining a crowd. The highest bidder can save on my nuts set. Oh my like, god. He's not wearing a cut. I will all. definitely close my eyes. I can't oh, even I imagine that ATM. pain, but I'm hurting all thinking right. about that. Why would you, why, wait, why would you staple your, this. I get it, this. Because I make hundreds of dollars. <laughs> and what I'll do is I'll hold it for every second that you, like if it's $100, I'll hold it for 100 okay. seconds. Okay, $60, I'll hold it for 60 seconds. Guy. What about the pain? There Do you is no pain in midget wrestling. I've been doing my tongue for 20 years. You ready? You. Can you imagine that with you? It tickles. It tickles. Just to show you, this shit is real. I need, I need real wood, but like, like, to your nuts. I will close my eyes, and if you want, I'll, I'll cover the camera for you guys as well. I can take care of y'all. I love drag racing. This is why I get up every single morning. But sometimes it's those side events <laughs> that you just can't. It's fun. Finally here, the grudge race between Driver B's Honda Civic and Ali Ashar's twin turbo Ferrari. He's going to get one second only now. Don't go up and try to take it at one second. No. It was no, one. Said, you know, you're not right. right. Said, right? I am. I am. Said, I, am. I am because my... Yeah, Harry, yeah. I didn't get to shave it. This isn't your average grudge race. The winner gets $300 and the loser has to Ricky Bobby. Ricky Bobby is Will Ferrell's character in Talladega Nights. When his car crashes, he thinks he's on fire. So he rips off his clothes and runs around the track in his underwear. Again, this is our grudge match. 
putting money against humiliation. I know I'm gonna win, so Ali, get ready to wear your underwear between your butt cheeks. He definitely oh, red lit. The whole world saw you oh, red lit. Ricky Bobby, Ricky Al. Ricky Bobby, Ricky Bobby. 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 Ricky we didn't plan anything. He absolutely rolled back. The car wobbled. When you stage, you have to stop. If you roll back or roll forward, you red light. And that's what he did. Oh, here it is! That's Shirt, beautiful! I knew driver B, red lit, I, I knew it was over, but I still had to race my race. To finish first, you must first finish. So. I get to see Driver B now running around in underwear, Ricky Bobby style. Get that shirt off, get it off! <laughs> you can do it, you can do it, I can help you. Here we go, here we go. Yes! 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 To the world of Not every race. Hey, that's this way stage, bro. That light, I didn't, my car did not move. It rolled back. It rolled back. After B's show, he had something to prove and who could blame him. So he took his car out for a solo run. I took off, as soon as I clicked second gear, my transmission shattered. Just wasn't my day. You know those moments where you just, you can't look away, no matter how hard you try? This is one of those moments. Someone paid $120 to staple Puppet in the... Oh! 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 That timer bomb, what are you doing? Where are we at? Cause this hurts. This hurts. This hurts. Oh my, oh my God. I've never had so many people around my neck set. Not only is he stapling, he has to pull out the staple. Three, two, one. Jason's rivalry has been going on for a long time now. Late last year at World Cup Finals, they had a race locked up for $20,000, and uh, they had a misunderstanding and nobody paid. We made a bet, and he said, we'll line up on the first qualifier. We both left identical reaction times, and I beat him at the top end of the track. It's all copy and paste bullshit. We were locked in for first out of the trailer, first test session, that never happened because he bitched out and he went and tested his car. So at the end of the day, I just really don't give a shit. Jason has Ed Bergenholtz, an NHRA champion, driving his car. I'm not worried about Ed Bergenholtz. He's old, he's retired, and he used to be good.
plane lost, dude, we're talking about maybe not even an inch. <laughs> Looks like our driver, uh, retired driver, is pretty good, huh? <laughs> we left on a uh, park's pretty good. My hood popped open at the top of third, and the hinge went through my window, put glass into my face, and he drove around me right at the finish line. I felt so good when, when they were just saying all those things, and then after that, I just took their money, and uh, we actually bought a few upgrades for the vehicle. Thanks, Greg, by the way. <laughs> Due to some bad weather and unsafe track conditions, we actually had to cancel the end of this event. Usually it's a tough call and it's one that we never like to make, but after having two back-to-back -back crashes at the end, this one was a no-brainer. We were still able to award some drivers at the end. What happens now? On to the next event. <laughs>